All right, we're looking at the female reproductive model from the torso, the insert for the female. Uh, externally, we see vulva, including labia majora, and then just inside of that, labia minora. Uh, on one side here, they have peeled off the bulbospongiosus muscle, so we can see the greater vestibular gland as well as the bulb of the vestibule. I see ischiocavernosus muscle running here. And then again, that bulbospongiosus muscle has been removed on this side, although it's intact on this side. And then I see transverse perineus muscle running transversely across the perineum. If I flip this over, take a look at a superior view. I can see the uterus here. I can see a uterine tube, a fallopian tube here, including an infundibulum and then some small fimbriae on the end, and then the ovary here. From the side view, I see the bladder behind it, the vagina, and behind that, the rectum. If I open it up, I get this view. I can see the bladder and above it, the uterus with a fundus, a body, and a cervix. I see the vagina, and then the fornix, which is the part of the vagina that surrounds the cervix. I can see the three layers of the uterus wall, including our perimetrium, our myometrium, and our endometrium. I also see the transverse perineus muscle. I can see the glans clitoris, and then the two labia, labia majora and labia minora.